it can watch a video of something like a person and, and then learn just by looking at that video and, and do that task. This is precisely Elon Musk's vision opening up the prospect of robots learning and working like humans. To realize this, Optimus Gen 4 has been completely redesigned. The head is smarter, the chest panels are more compact, and the overall appearance is more user-friendly. Notably, the Gen 4 head is equipped with eight cameras and multi-directional sensors, allowing 360-degree observation and improving accuracy in interaction. Why is the new design important for the next generation of Optimus? Before we begin, Please help us reach 20,000 subscribers. It will be a huge motivation for us to continue bringing you great episodes about Tesla Bot, Tesla EVs, and the latest news. How did Tesla redesign the head of Optimus Gen 4 to improve interaction? When you think of humanoid robots, which part do you consider the most important? Many people would immediately say the hands, since that's what allows a robot to grab and perform tasks. But, if you look closer, you'll realize the head is actually where the real connection between humans and robots begins. And with Optimus Gen 4, Tesla has made a striking change in this very area. Previously, Optimus's head had a rather rigid design. It looked mechanical, almost like a camera awkwardly attached to a body. Modern, yes, but also cold, lacking a sense of warmth or familiarity. Think about it. If a robot walked into a room with a completely expressionless face, would you feel comfortable? Probably not. That's why, in Genesis 4, Tesla reworked the entire head, from its shape and sensors to how it expresses states. The most noticeable difference is its sleeker, more harmonious shape. The lines are softened, no longer as sharp and mechanical as before. This may seem like a small tweak, but it makes Optimus appear far friendlier, more like a teammate than a machine. Elon Musk once said that robots should make humans want to be around them, not feel fear or distance. That philosophy is exactly why Tesla invested heavily in reshaping the face of Optimus Gen 4. But the head isn't just about looking better. Tesla has packed it with an advanced sensor suite. Imagine Optimus now having multiple eyes, a wide-angle camera for full view, a telephoto camera for detail, infrared sensors for the dark, and directional microphones to catch voices around it. This means Optimus doesn't just see, it actually understands its environment, much like how we use our eyes and ears to read situations. And what's the benefit? Picture yourself sipping coffee. Optimus notices your cup is nearly empty, and without being asked, it understands you're about to need a refill. No commands, no instructions. It simply acts. Wouldn't you want a helper like that at home? Another intriguing upgrade is how the head can now express subtle emotions. Tesla has added a front-facing LED strip that lights up differently depending on states, when listening, when processing, or when completing a task. On top of that, head movements are more natural. It can nod to agree or tilt slightly when listening. Sound familiar? These are the same small gestures we use in daily communication, and when a robot does them, it feels like it's genuinely listening. Compared to rivals like Figure 02 or Agility Robotics Digit, the difference is clear. Figure 2's head looks futuristic and sleek but feels distant. Digit barely has a head at all, no expressions, just pure mechanics. Tesla chose a different path, design that's both attractive and approachable, while cramming in cutting-edge tech. In other words, the head of Optimus Gen 4 is both its brand face and its neural center. In practice, this change also boosts safety when working alongside humans. With 360-degree vision, Optimus can avoid collisions, recognize small gestures, and react instantly. For example, if you point toward a chair, it understands you want it pulled out without needing a long verbal command. That's the difference Tesla is aiming for. Robots that don't just follow orders, but respond with human-like intuition. Elon Musk once said, Optimus is not just a labor tool, but a companion. To achieve that, a robot can't only be powerful in its arms and legs, it needs to have a soul in its head. And Genesis 4 is on the right track, turning a machine into a technological being that feels close enough to live and work with us. Overall, the head redesign of Optimus Gen 4 is a makeover that matters. It makes the robot look better, act smarter, and, most importantly, become easier for people to accept in daily life. Because at the end of the day, what makes us open our hearts to a robot isn't how fast it runs or how much weight it lifts, but whether we feel we can communicate with it and trust it. Once again, please help us reach 20,000 subscribers. This is important for us to stay motivated. Thank you. Why was the chest panel changed in the new design? If you think a robot's chest is just there to cover up the machinery inside, you're in for a surprise. With Optimus Gen 4, Tesla doesn't treat the chest plate as just another piece of plastic or metal. It has turned it into a crucial part of both design and functionality. 
and this change is big enough to make you look at Optimus in a completely different way. Think back to Optimus Gen 2 or Gen 3. The chest back then was thick and bulky, almost like armor. Sure, it was solid, but it also made the robot feel distant and heavy. Elon Musk has often emphasized that humanoid robots should appear friendly and approachable, not like warriors straight out of a sci-fi movie. That's why in Genesis 4, the chest has been significantly refined, slimmer, smoother, and smarter at the same time. The first thing you'll notice is the elegance of its form. The Gen 4 chest plate now has a seamless design with soft, rounded edges that give off a lighter, more approachable look. Don't you think that when something looks better, we're more likely to accept it? It's just like smartphones. No one wants to carry around a bulky, blocky phone, right? Robots are no different. They need an appearance that's easy on the eyes. But Tesla didn't stop at aesthetics. The new chest plate is made of ultralight materials, likely an aluminum alloy combined with carbon fiber. This reduces the robot's overall weight, meaning Optimus can conserve more battery power and move more fluidly. A robot that's a few kilos lighter can walk longer, balance better, and most importantly, be safer around humans if it ever bumps into them. Wouldn't you want a robot that's safer to have in your living room? Another interesting detail. Tesla has turned the chest into a platform for new technology. Reports suggest that the Gen 4 chest may integrate a small display or smart indicator lights, allowing the robot to show its status, charging, idle, or processing tasks. It might even display a simple greeting like hello to feel more welcoming. Suddenly, the chest isn't just armor anymore, but more like a mini control panel built right into the robot's body. Look closer and you'll notice that the chest redesign also improves cooling. Inside Optimus, many critical modules like batteries and processors are housed in the upper torso. With the new design, venting and airflow have been cleverly integrated beneath the chest plate, balancing aesthetics while keeping the robot running longer without overheating. Who would have thought a robot chest could double as a mini air conditioning system? Strange as it sounds, it makes perfect sense. And how does this compare to competitors? Figure 02 still uses a fairly minimalist chest design, sleek but lacking multifunctionality. Digit, from Agility Robotics, basically ignores aesthetics altogether, focusing purely on industrial mechanics. Tesla has chosen a different path, a chest that looks good, houses useful tech, and strikes the balance between performance and user experience. This has very practical implications. At home, Optimus could use its chest display to show your daily schedule, remind you to take medication or notify you when a meal is ready. In a factory, the chest could display statuses like transporting or needs maintenance, making it easier for workers to keep track of dozens of robots at once. See how a simple change to the chest can unlock an entire range of new use cases? Elon Musk has repeatedly emphasized Tesla's vision of making Optimus a mainstream product, present in homes, offices, and factories alike. To achieve that, a robot must not only look approachable, but also communicate clearly. And the chest is the perfect spot for delivering quick, visible information. Instead of checking an app, you can simply glance at Optimus's chest to know what it's doing. A small design tweak, but one that offers huge convenience. In short, the redesigned chest plate on Optimus Gen 4 isn't just about making the robot look better. It makes it lighter, smarter, and more user-friendly. It transforms the outer shell into a communication tool, an essential part of the user experience. And it's this blend of technology, aesthetics, and functionality that brings Optimus Gen 4 closer to Tesla's ultimate goal, becoming a true partner in human life. So what do you think? Would you rather stand in front of a robot whose chest is just a hard shell, or one with a smart control panel built right into it, both sleek and useful? The answer seems pretty clear. What are the key exterior adjustments that make Gen 4 look more human-like? If you think a robot's chest is simply there to cover up the machinery inside, you're in for a surprise. With Optimus Gen 4, Tesla doesn't see the chest plate as just a piece of plastic or metal, but turns it into a crucial part of both design and functionality. And this change is enough to make you look at Optimus in a completely different way. Think back to Optimus Gen 2 or Gen 3. The chest back then was thick, a bit clunky, almost like armor. It was solid, sure, but it also felt heavy and distant. Meanwhile, Elon Musk has emphasized that humanoid robots need to look friendly and approachable not like warriors walking out of a sci-fi movie. That's why Generation 4 received a major redesign, a chest plate that's slimmer, sleeker, and smarter. The first thing you'll notice is the refinement in shape. The Gen 4 chest has a seamless design with softly rounded edges that give it a lighter visual impression. Equally transformative are the refinements Tesla made to Optimus Gen 4's arms and hands. If earlier versions looked somewhat mechanical and stiff, the new design leans heavily toward natural human proportions, 
The arms now feature smoother contours, less exposed machinery, and joints that mimic the range and fluidity of a person's shoulders and elbows. This change does more than improve appearance, it directly impacts functionality. With arms shaped closer to our own, Optimus can move through everyday spaces without looking awkward or threatening, making its presence feel more natural in homes, labs, or factories. The hands represent another leap forward. Gen 4 introduces slimmer, more defined fingers with enhanced articulation, giving the robot a distinctly human-like dexterity. Where Gen 2 and Gen 3 hands resembled tools, Gen 4's design suggests something closer to a true replica of the human hand. This isn't just cosmetic. It makes tasks like handling fragile objects, pouring a drink, or typing on a keyboard far more believable and practical. A humanoid robot must blend seamlessly into human-designed environments, and Tesla clearly understands that our world is built for hands like ours. Moving downward, the legs and feet of Gen 4 also showcase a more refined silhouette. The bulky, almost mechanical look of earlier prototypes has given way to leaner, better-proportioned limbs. The thighs and calves are shaped in a way that mirrors human musculature, while the knees bend with more grace. The feet, often overlooked in humanoid robots, have been redesigned to provide a more stable base, with proportions that resemble human shoes rather than clunky industrial supports. This not only enhances walking efficiency, but also reduces the uncanny sense of robot legs moving stiffly across a room. Tesla has even paid attention to posture. Where Gen 3 occasionally looked hunched or overly rigid, Gen 4 maintains a balanced, upright stance that feels strikingly human. The alignment between shoulders, hips, and feet gives the impression of a figure at rest, ready to move, but not mechanical in its stillness. This posture is subtle, yet it is one of the most convincing aspects of the redesign, making the robot appear less like a machine imitating humans and more like a being that naturally shares our body language. Taken together, these refinements to the arms, hands, legs, and posture complete the Gen 4 transformation. Tesla has moved beyond creating a robot that merely performs tasks to designing one that looks at home in our world. By bringing its form closer to ours, Optimus Gen 4 doesn't just resemble a humanoid, it begins to feel like one. Tesla Optimus Gen 4 is becoming the center of attention after Elon Musk revealed a series of major upgrades in both design and technology. Not only does it feature a more human-like appearance, but Gen 4 is also positioned as the version that will drive large-scale commercialization, marking the transition of humanoid robots from the testing phase to mass production. The big question is, how many units of Gen 4 will Tesla produce, and when will it officially launch? Following Tesla's usual strategy, production will not begin on a massive scale right away but instead start at a smaller volume to ensure quality control and stabilize the supply chain. For Optimus, Elon Musk has stated that the long-term goal could reach millions of robots per year, but Gen 4 will likely begin at a more modest level. Experts predict that in the initial phase, Tesla may produce around 10,000 to 20,000 units annually, concentrated in a single factory in the U.S., before expanding to other gigafactories. What stands out is that Tesla is applying lessons from its electric vehicle production lines to accelerate robot manufacturing. The use of GigaPress, automation systems, and 4,680 battery technology allows Tesla to significantly shorten assembly time. Whereas the Model Y took nearly three years to reach stable production, Optimus Gen 4 could need only about 18 to 24 months before entering a phase of rapid growth. This means that starting from 2026, we may see Optimus Gen 4 deployed widely in factories, laboratories, and even households. As for its official launch, Elon Musk has repeatedly hinted that Gen 4 will be unveiled in 2025, possibly at Tesla AI Day or a dedicated event to underscore Optimus's importance for the future. This will not just be a showcase of technology, but also a declaration that Tesla is ready to commercialize humanoid robots. In summary, with an initial production plan of several tens of thousands of units per year and a clear roadmap for scaling up, Optimus Gen 4 is poised to become Tesla's next flagship product. If Elon Musk's prediction holds true, the future value of Tesla could come primarily from Optimus, and Genesis 4 represents the turning point that opens the door to a global era of robotics. We appreciate your contributions and hope you will have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, please hit the like button and join the Techno Creator family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.